Hi everyone, Andy here, and today's video is about Soho CRM. We're going to create a function that will count related records and then put that number in a field. All right, let's get started. I have created this article that I will link in the video description below, where you will be able to find the step by step process and the function that we're going to use as well. For today's tutorial, we're going to use an example and we're going to count how many deals are related to a contact, but you can use any modules you want. For example, you can count products related to a deal or even records in a custom module. Something to keep in mind is that we're going to trigger this function every time a deal is created. So when a deal is created, we're going to find a contact related to that deal and count all the deals that that contact has. All right, so I have a contact in Zoho CRM and on the left we can see that we have four deals so far. What we would like to do is count those four deals and then place that number somewhere in the contacts profile. So we can use that field to filter contacts or maybe to trigger other workflows. So the first thing we're gonna do is add a field to the contacts profile. For that, I'm gonna go to the setup that I have already open here. And then we're gonna go to modules and fields and then contacts. And we're gonna open the layout. And now we're gonna add a field to the layout. In this case, it's gonna be a number. And the name is gonna be total deals. All right, let's click on save and close. And now we're gonna go back here and go to where it says developer space and APIs. Here, click on API names, then open the contacts. And now we're gonna find a field that we just created. And here we have it, total deals, and this is the API name. All right, I'm gonna keep this tab open and in a new one that I have up here, we're gonna to go to functions under developer space to create a function. Now we're gonna click on new function and we're gonna name and add a display name for this function. And category is gonna be automation. All right, let's click on create. Now we're gonna to go to the article and scroll down and we're gonna copy this function and go back to the function and just paste it right here. Now we're gonna go back to the APIs tab and then we're gonna copy this API of the field that we just created. And back to the function and we're gonna replace this field here with that one. All right, now we have to find the API names of the other modules. So back to the setup here and I'm going to click again APIs and API names and the ones that we're looking for is contacts that it is right here and is contacts and deals and it is the same name as well deals so if you're counting different related records you're going to find the API name here and same for custom modules all right so let's copy this back to the function and we're going to replace it right here and then API name record is going to be replaced by contacts. And same here. The last thing we have to do is add an argument. So we're going to copy this one right here. And then edit arguments. And we're going to paste it. In this case, we're going to select it as a string. Click on save. And we're going to click on save. All right, the function has been created and now we have to create a workflow so we can trigger that function. So let's go to automations here, and then workflow rules, and then we're gonna create a rule and it's gonna be for the deals module. And even if we are counting related records to the contacts module, we have to trigger this workflow from the deals module. So every time we create a deal, the workflow is gonna be triggered. So rule name is gonna be count records and click on next and it's going to be on a record action when the record is created next and then all deals next and then here we're going to click on function and we're going to click on new function and here it says functions in this case this is the function i'm looking for the one that i just created count related deals in contact click on configure and then contact id is going to be contact and contact ID done save and associate and finally we're going to click on save all right let's go back to our contact and test this out so I'm going to refresh the page first 
And then here we have the total deals field. And now I'm gonna create a new deal. And save it. Now we can go up and refresh the page. And the total deals has changed to five. Now let's check the timeline. And you can see that the total deals field was updated from blank to five. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, please leave a thumbs up. Also, let me know if you have any questions in the comments down below. I have other videos about Toho Serum on this channel, so feel free to check them out. Thanks for watching.